Hi, good morning. It's March. What is it? March 4th? Created equal, right? An artist I worked with named Barbara Kay from who is a, one of the members of the band Timbuk3. You know the band that wrote the hit, The Future's So Bright, You Gotta Wear Shades, which was about nuclear proliferation. So Barbara Kay is a, an Austinite songwriter, wrote the song, My Name is Truth. And the phrase goes like this, the chorus, My Name is Truth, and you can't kill me. I came from the eternal sea. So, my name is Truth, and you can't kill me. I came from the eternal sea. Truth, by its very de definition, right, is... just is what it is. There's nothing that, it, that can change it. You know, if I... If I, uh... cross the street, I cross the street. But, when it comes to human beings, it seems like, you know, what I'm asking is, how do we reconcile all the different truths out there and different interpretations of the truth from the human being perspective, from the perspective of how human beings color and interpret things? For instance, one person's idea of passion in music may be another person's superficial right superficial superficiality <clears throat> for for me a lot of the music that's popular music today i can't stand it it's horrible it it doesn't represent what i was taught as a music student coming up and i have a pretty wide range of styles that i like and and from folk to freeform jazz to classic rock and roll, to tango, to even new age, to swing, whatnot. I love all kinds of styles of music, but what, when, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> but what some people call great music or great musicianship just doesn't, doesn't compute for me. I mean, sometimes what people define as passion is, is just enthusiasm or loudness or noise in the case of like speed metal <clears throat> the other thing is it's confusing what is it changes from day to day that truth changes from day to day so what are some things that you do you just adjust your truth depending on whatever evidence comes in from you know decade to decade or year to year for instance i just bought a pair of uh true dark glasses which According to the scientific evidence that they've researched, and this makes sense to me, light coming from fluorescent sources and computers confuses the circadian rhythms in your brain. Your eyes pick up, and for millions of years, our eyes have been picking up the natural light. From, and most of the time we spend inside, most humans are inside 92% of the time, which is very different from the way things were 150 years ago. So these glasses, what they do is they block out the rays which confuse the circadian And so you can wear these inside and not feel exhausted at the end of the day for looking at a screen or being under fluorescent lights. So I have them in my, in my briefcase. I've been wearing them for the past week. And I'll have to say that I do feel that I can work longer in front of a screen. So, but something like that, is that going to be untrue a year from now? Are they going to figure out that that was all just poppycock? So what do you do what do you do when you to deal with changing truths? Another thing, I mean, what I do is I just try to take in the evidence as best I can and make decisions on that. So curious what you do. Everybody have a great day. I am driving to my mom's condo where I have my studio set up. We're working on the next album. A Sailor Returns to the Sea. Thanks for joining me. Hope everybody has a great day. Bye for now. <clears throat> and if you want to check out that album, by the way, 
Just go to Karen and Will music.com you can click the little link on the right hand side says learn more and you'll get some free music from us and you'll get updated when we release it this month probably middle or the end of the month we'll be releasing that album look forward to seeing any of you out there we have a show this weekend at um, strings in the woods Karen and I will be playing live at a beautiful park somewhere in Austin and all the information, strings at the wood, strings in the woods on Facebook. You can find that, and or you can subscribe to the strings in the woods email list, which is b.link/stringsinwoods. Take care, everyone.